Meghan Markle's not shedding her Hollywood roots anytime soon, particularly not when it comes to her footwear. The 37-year-old Duchess of Sussex visited Smart Works, a charity that provides interview clothes and training to unemployed women in need, at St. Charles Hospital in West London on Thursday, and dressed to impress in a meticulous outfit of designer duds. But while her simple $218 black hash dress, her classic $2,990 Oscar de Laurenta coat, and even her $2,710 Victoria Beckham box bag were timeless, traditional choices, Meghan still made sure to make a little red carpet rebellion in a pair of trendy, and sexy, PVC pumps. Meghan accessorized her baby bump hugging maternity LBD with a pair of $795 giant Vita Rossi plexi heels. The shoes have a black and white cow print on the heels and toes, with clear PVC inserts running up the sides and along the upper toe area. While PVC heels are a favorite among Hollywood's trendy stars, they're hardly a go-to for the royal family, making Meghan's choice a standout one. Other members of the family, including the Queen and Meghan's sister-in-law Kate Middleton, also typically wear nude pantyhose with dresses and skirts, but Meghan has made a habit of skipping hosiery altogether. Though the Duchess has changed her style quite a bit since leaving suits behind and pairing off with Prince Harry, she hasn't completely stepped away from her previous preferences, either. Nor has she cleaned out her closet. The giant Vita Rossi pumps she wore on Thursday have actually been in her wardrobe for years and appeared in a photo of her shoe closet that she shared on her Instagram page before deleting it. Back in 2014, she also shared a blog post on her website The Tig in which she documented a day in her shoes. In addition to the shoe closet snap, which included 39 visible pairs of shoes, from leopard pumps to red bow-bedecked sandals, she also took photos aimed down at the four pairs of shoes she wore on a particularly busy day, including those Rossi pumps. Some days I wear one lone pair of shoes, and others, my toes are caught in a fashion flurry of beautiful footwear from day to night, she wrote at the time, according to the fan site Megan's Mirror. On this particular day, I had the luxury of slipping out of my go-to Jack Purcell kicks in favor of looks of the high fashion persuasion. From Chanel, to Blonix and McQueen on set for suits, to some beauties from Giant Vita Rossi for an event at night. It was a Cinderella glass slipper kind of day at its finest. Interestingly, this also doesn't happen to be the first time she's adorned her feet in PVC since she and Harry made it official. In May, she wore a pair of $450 Tamarid Melendor Say pumps to a garden party for Prince Charles' 70th birthday. The nude shoes features a small PVC insert on the open side along the inner foot. And in November of 2015, before she met Harry, she attended the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund Awards in a Michinanu mini dress with another pair of $325 giant Vita Rossi PVC shoes, this time a black pair of mules with thick PVC straps across the front. Though Meghan's clear footwear is certainly a unique choice for a royal, the style is now fairly commonplace among celebrities and Fashion Week regulars. Kim Kardashian is a huge fan of the look and has worn not just PVC pumps and sandals but tall see-through boots made of plastic. She also infamously wore a pair of PVC shoes while she was pregnant in 2013, squeezing her poor swollen feet into the two small shoes. Though Meghan is also expecting, she's stuck with a pair that fits, and luckily for her, her feet don't seem to be swelling much yet. Besides Kim, Chrissy Teigen, Katy Perry, Kylie Jenner, and countless others have taken clear shoes for a spin in the past six or so years. In fact, several stars have worn the same giant Vita Rossi plexi pumps that Meghan has. Selena Gomez, Gigi Hadid, Anna Kendrick, Penelope Cruz, Miranda Kerr, Kerry Washington, Courtney, and Khloe Kardashian, and Jennifer Lopez have all worn the shoe in different colors. Meanwhile, her sister-in-law has also worn pumps by the brand though she opts for the PVC-free Giant Vita 105 style. She has several pairs in a variety of colors that she has been spotted wearing on numerous occasions. Shoes aside, Megan, who is expecting her first child in the spring, was putting the focus on good deeds on Thursday when he visited Smart Works.
The Duchess has privately visited SmartWorks several times over the last year and worked with some of the women who have benefited from the charity's support, Kensington Palace revealed. She told the group, which included two former clients, I'm so happy to be here. You guys know I've been quietly coming by. Close to a year. It's nice to be able to now do it publicly and really talk about the work that you do. Today, Meghan was met at her car by the charity's chief executive Kate Stevens, and they kissed each other, once on each cheek. She smiled as she was also greeted by the charity's chair and founder, Lady Juliet Hughes Hallett. The Duchess waved at the press before heading inside. Women are referred to the charity from organizations such as job centers, work programs, prisons, care homes, homeless shelters, and mental health charities. Kensington Palace announced today that Meghan has also taken on honorary roles with the National Theatre and Association of Commonwealth Universities, patronages both previously held by the Queen. The Queen has been patron of the National Theatre for 45 years and the ACU for 33 years. The Duchess will also be patron of Mayhew, an animal charity based in Kensal Green, northwest London. Stevens said the Duchess had made several private visits to SmartWorks last year. She added, she's really hands-on and involved, and has a natural empathy with people that we've been really impressed by, she's amazing. She puts people at their ease. It does feel slightly surreal, 